A developing story now we've been following since last night, a plane crash in Mobile. Tragedy strikes around 8 p.m. last night. A Cessna 182 aircraft crashes in Mobile. After hours of searching for the plane and its two occupants in a heavily wooded area, it, and it's also swampy, outside of the Mobile Regional Airport, our worst fears are realized. There are no survivors. On board, two pilots of the Alabama Civil Air Patrol. 67-year-old pilot Major David Morrison of Fairhope and 66-year-old Second Lieutenant Phil Dryden of Gulf Shores. The exact cause of the crash is unknown. Members of the National Transportation Safety Board are in town trying to solve the mystery. But we do know it was a foggy night, and that could be to blame. News 5's Alan Carter was one of the first reporters on the scene last night, and he tells us more about the two pilots on board who perished in the crash. There is still so much unknown about what happened Monday night. But if there's one thing that's clear, it's that we lost two incredible individuals. They're both important uh, volunteers in the community, both wanting to do something for their communities. David Moritzson and Phil Dryden were so close to making it back home, but their Cessna went down just about a mile from Mobile Regional Airport. The men coming back from Baton Rouge where they dropped off a medical patient, a charity flight. family man um, willing to do anything for you to step up and uh, take care of you. Dryden of Gulf Shores, a Vietnam War medic, and Morrison, a doctor. Flights to increase public awareness. Who we'd actually interviewed before on a volunteer flight. But you just don't ever expect to hear that. It was just awful news, awful. Former workers in his medical practice remembering the man as well. He was so laid back and just a very caring person. Um, everybody loved him. I don't, I don't know anybody that, that would say anything bad about him. All the patients here loved him, all the staff. Um, he was just a wonderful person. And we're told the remains have been removed from the crash site, but investigators will stay there for the next couple of days, surveying the wreckage, at which point it'll be taken to a secure location for further evaluation. Reporting live tonight in the newsroom, Alan Carter, News 5.